Welcome to this week's edition of the Fluid Art Express. I hope you checked out all the amazing artists before me. And now, without further ado... Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All you children of all ages out there, this is the hippie, dippie, painter man. And welcome from the Florida Keys to the hippie, dippie school of psychedelica for the uninitiated. Peace. Check it out, y'all. We got a multicolored background here that I just got done digging on. We got some purple, got some black, we got some beautiful navy blue, and some white. All right, ain't you know what we're gonna do with that? We're gonna do a rainbow swipe. We are gonna do a beautiful hippie dippy psychedelic swipe, babies. We're gonna start by putting us a little circle of red right here. go from the red and making sure to pour on the edge of the red because I like the orange effect that it will have. We're going to pour some gold and yellow. Right. Which is almost, almost a yellow yellow. Now, we're going to pour this wonderful gold color on there. I'm gonna double duty on that gold because I'm gonna put a little bit on the inside of the red also. All right, we're gonna go from there. We're gonna go to this pretty color purple right here. Come on, purple. All right. Now you may have wondered, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dudes and chickies of all ages, why the hippy dippy made the background multicolored. Because can you dig it? Some colors look better on others than they do on those. So here's what we're doing, man. The purple might not look too cool on the purple, right? But it's gonna look really wicked cool on the black. You know what I'm saying? The gold. Might not look good on the blue, might come out green. But man, how cool is that gonna look on the white and the black? You see what I'm saying? So we do this nice multicolored background and we do our psychedelic colors on the top. Which I think that's all of my purple. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna get a little more around there. Oh, good enough. And we're gonna toss that. Now we're gonna go to this beautiful teal color. We're gonna do this pretty teal coming around there like that. Yes, sir, Bob. Gonna put the lid back on that one. Gonna get a little bit left in it. We might use it later. Next color will be this lovely blue lagoon. Blue lagoon. I just realized that's got just a little bit of our Prussian blue activator in it. Must have been a drip from when we were spinning. All right. Now next. Oh, you know what? I never used my yellow color. You know what? I wanted it in there, but we're gonna go ahead and put it on the outside of this. Does it matter? No, it don't. Because it's hippie dippified, that's why. Let's put a little drop in the middle. There we go. Now I'll put a little bit here. I forgot I never used my yellow yellow. Yellow yellow, orange orange. Apples apples, whatever. This is some beautiful eye candy. Blue orchid. That I'm just gonna put out here just a little bit on the edges. So we bit. Actually I'm gonna, since we're getting near the sides. Now we're gonna go to this color, which I'm not entirely sure what it is. We'll put it all around there in the edges. That's a Kathy mix. This is a Kathy mix, I am told by the wise one. Kathy was looking at me before I started this out. She said, hippie. I said, what? She said, I am confused. What in the world are you doing? And I said, you know what? That's what you do, baby. You keep them guessing. 
you keep on guessing. What I'm doing is something entirely odd that only a crazed, hippified, psychedelically inclined individual would do. As I said, welcome to the Hippie Dippy School of Psychedelica for the uninitiated. All right, now I got a nice light blue. Gonna do this one, then we're gonna be done with the rainbow colors. Oh, I forgot I got some green and red too. We gotta do that too. All right. When there's light blue out here. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and use this cool emerald green boom gel out here in the outside. And yes, there's a lot of colors of the rainbow that I mixed. But you know. All right, now I'm gonna take this red. I'm gonna run a little bit here. Across there. And here. Across there. Now you may be saying to yourself, but hit it. What if that red takes over the entire painting? And the hippie would be saying, it's my favorite color, man. I don't care. I love red. All right. Now, I'm going to get out the big old S&M butt wimple paddle. You're not going. Oh, you're going swipe. Yes, ma'am. I'm swiping. I told you that. Oh, okay. And we are going to put some Amsterdam white mixed with excuse me, titanium white mixed with Australian Floetrol cell activator on it. By the way, those of y'all that ain't familiar with the big butt whooper, this is it. Hadn't used it in a while. We're gonna cover the back of that with this titanium white cell activator. Get a good coat of it on there. So I don't want to run out before I swirl all the way around. Cut down the hand, put some of that more on there. Alright. Now, as the man said before he dove off the 130 foot diving board, wish me luck, babies. Here we go. And a flip. And a spin. She wanna get stuck on me. Alright. We may have to do this twice. Didn't expect the paddle to get stuck. Must have, must have got something sticky on there. I don't know what it is, but it's stuck. I'll go further towards the middle this time. That way I'll make sure I get that middle bit too. Put me some more in here. I don't know what that got stuck on. That was weird. All of a sudden, I had suction. Just, I was stuck, wouldn't move. It's called a lot of pain. Oh, the hippie mama says, it's called a lot of paint. You know, if you hadn't told me that, I would never have known that I have a lot of paint on you. I'd have just sat here wondering all day if I had a lot of paint on my canvas. <laughs> all right, we're gonna try this one more time. This time, I'm gonna start where we got stuck. But I'm gonna go from the middle in here, down here. Whoop, edge got stuck. Come on now, come on now, come on now, all the way. And there we are. Boy, look at the back of that paddle. That's sexy too, man. I'll let that dry like that and peel it off as a skin. I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna find a place to sit this and let it dry like that. The white here that I didn't use right here on the edge. I'm gonna get some of that right there. And we're gonna put it right here. Because I missed that area. Boys and girls, can you dig it? Because I myself can dig it. I look it. for a moment, which 
will only be mere milliseconds for you because of course I will cut that part out. We will have to pause for just a moment and move all this stuff out of the way before I spin this. Because when I spin this, it's going to be maniacal in the amount of paint that's going to slam off of it. So, oh, hi boys and girls, I'm back. Back like a heart attack and ready to do it. We're going to back up a little bit. Give her a spin. And at this time, the hippie lap is being covered completely in paint. And Mama Cat's over there about to get covered in some paint too, I think. Uh-oh, she's getting up the paper towel shield now. Hold that paper towel shield in front of her. Well, that multicolored background was a good idea, man. Because it just comes in so many tones around that. Just changes the tone entirely. Man, that looks like just some ridiculous beach vortex right there. I love all this delicious Bordeaux red, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, I dig this in here, man. This in here looks organic, like it's uh, some sort of an interior thing. Oh, I like this here. That's got a geode effect to it, and so does this. Yeah, I'm digging it. The hippie is digging it. What else are we gonna do to it, though? I'm gonna pull some, some of this excess paint off the edges. Maybe run it around one more time. I'm gonna hit some more flame on it. Make absolutely sure we get every single bubble out of it. And at the same time, go ahead and throw a little heat on these cells to help process them. Oh man, oh man, oh man, look at this, honey. You see that? In this little area here, like and this, this, and this, and over here, look at this. Yeah. Oh man, I love this coming up in here too. Well, boys and girls, I know it's a quick video, but that's all I want to do today is just to show you how pretty laying some colors that you like down and just run a little spin on it without a care in the world, just how pretty you can come out. And I don't know about y'all, but I love this. It's beautiful to me. So, until I see you again, same blah blah blah, blah time, same blah blah blah, blah channel, peace out. Once again, boys and girls, if you haven't seen the artists that previously were on the train today, please go back and check them out. They're well worth your time. All amazing artists. All of their links are in my description. So please like, follow, subscribe to them. And next time you'll be able to chat in the live chat if you weren't able to do it this time. Thanks.